Hello and welcome to my creative space. Thank you so much for being here today. Welcome to another DIY video. If you're not already, I would love for you to subscribe and join this creative squad. In today's video, I'm participating for the second time on Thrift Flip Thursday Challenge and it's hosted by Shayna and Savannah. Their co-host today is Kamara from Dying to DIY. Their links will be in my description box. Go check it out. Check the playlist. Now, let's get started. For flip number one, I found this super cute wheelbarrow and it's pretty, but I don't like those sticks that this has. So I'm going to remove those. I want to say this is called bamboo, but I could be wrong. So I'm not sure. But anyway, so I took them all off and then I had this siding that my brother gifted me. He brings me stuff sometimes because he knows I DIY and he thought it would be useful for something. And it was. So I'm going to be using this and I'm going to be cutting some pieces to cut cover the sides with this so i start by cutting six for the also well, three for the front three for the back and then three for each side so that makes six small ones and six long ones and i basically just just started tracing this on this siding and then i took my hawk saw and i cut them all off once i had them all off i took this sanding block and i just sand the edges just so it wouldn't be so rough from where i cut them here are all my pieces now i am going to start gluing the front of this so i take my first little stick and i hot glue the pieces together and i just place it on there everything seems fine and then i just keep doing the same thing until i cover the front and i don't know why this is two dollars because i paid 2.99 i want to say or 2.92 for this so I could have saved some money if I would have been like, hey, here's this. But anyway, so here is the back. I didn't realize that the back was uh, smaller or more narrow than the front. So I had to fix that and cut them to size. And then once I did that, I started gluing them as well. Once I got the front and back, I'm going to start gluing the sides and I'm basically going to do the exact same thing. Use hot glue and start gluing my sticks on the sides. For the bottom of the wheelbarrow, I decided to only do four sticks, so I'm just going to glue them the exact same way. Now I'm going to glue back these two little sticks that were holding this whole thing together and I just added some hot glue to secure them and then I end up deciding to remove the beads because I am not going to be hanging this so I don't see the point on keeping them and I removed the little strings and then I took some spackling and fill in the holes just so it would look nicer. Now I'm going to take my matte acrylic white paint and I'm going to be painting everything but the wheels. The wheels are going to be painted a different color but as of now this is what I am going to be painting. And now it's time to paint the wheels and I decided to go with the color black. So I am using the Waverly chalk paint. If you have any questions regarding any tools or paint or colors, if I ever forget to mention them, they will always be in my description box if you like to check it out. Here is what the wheelbarrow is looking like and it's looking amazing. Now I decided to add the Durant's established 2013. That is my family last name and this would not be possible if my best friend hadn't let me borrow her Cricut machine. So thank you so much Gabby. You are the best. And um, yeah, so the wheelbarrow is beautiful as it is but with this I just think it gives it that little something that makes it even more beautiful. Or maybe it's just me, but I love this. But anyway, so let's remember what this used to look like. And here is the end result. I am in love with this wheelbarrow. It's for sure my favorite thrift flip in this video. For 
flip number two i found this wall sconce i think that's what it's called but if not then i'm sorry but basically i don't want to use this i end up removing the mason jars and the little ring wire ring that was holding them i just unscrew it it was easy then i unscrewed the little hooks and once i removed it there was some glue there i tried to sand it but it was not working so i end up taking these pliers and kind of just popping off which thank god it was as easy as that now i took this piece of wood that i had laying around and i just cut it to the size i needed it because i want to make a new shelf for this and i turned it over and then i just marked exactly where i wanted this to sit and i started drilling some holes to help my shelf uh, be more secure and stay in place once i was done doing that i took my little piece of wood and i marked exactly where i needed to drill as well that way when i go to screw both of these pieces together it will be easier hopefully which yeah it was <laughs> but anyway so here is um my two pieces ready to go so i start screwing my screws in the bigger piece just so they are already there and i can see exactly where everything's gonna go then i just put my second piece on top of it and the holes match yay okay now i turned it over and i started screwing it with a screwdriver but then i was like why am i doing this when i have this drill right here so i took it and i started doing it with that so it was way faster now this is what it's looking like now i took some spackling to fill in the two holes at the top because i don't need them and then i just took this little stick and kind of remove what i didn't need now i'm gonna take my acrylic white paint again and i am going to be painting this whole thing in white and while this rolls let me thank all of you because yesterday i hit 2k subscribers here on my channel and i can't believe it it would not be possible without you thank you thank you so much from the bottom of my heart once the paint is dried i took my sanding sponge and i started distressing the edges i thought about using my wax to distress it but i decided i wanted this to look more white than anything so i just distressed the edges and i love how this is looking and now it's time to put the last details so i screw back the hooks that this came with and i printed out this really cool sign it says meals and memories are made here i forgot to mention but this is gonna go in the kitchen and when i saw this i was like this is where you're gonna go so i printed it out in the kitchen for us for me and my family it's that is the place where we have fun where we have the best memories so we love spending time as a family and i just felt like this was perfect for that now let's remember what this used to look like and here is the end result i love how this little shelf slash sign turned out i am in love i just love it so much for flip number three i found this rack slash sign and it said welcome friends and had this little house well i don't love it i thought about transforming it and using it for my daughter but then i changed my mind so bear with me so i remove everything off of it with these pliers and then once i remove that i remove the little hooks or whatever they're called i took those off took it outside send it down and this is what it's looking like i love it way more like this honestly so i took some masking tape and i am going to be uh marking exactly where i'm going to be painting because i want this to have a straight line so i put the other tape above and that creates that bar in the middle or that space and that is the space that i'm going to be painting white now i took the little dowels holders or whatever they're called and i'm gonna be painting them in the color white as well now once my wooden piece is dried i'm gonna remove the masking tape that was covering that and i am going to be adding two extra pieces but this time i am going to put them on top of the white paint to cover up exactly or i guess to mark exactly where i don't need to be painting then i am going to be taking my stain and i am going to be staining this whole piece in this color the information on the color will be in the description box
Once I was done staining it, I removed the masking tape and I found that a little bit of the stain got onto the white paint. I tried to fix it by doing a couple of layers of white paint on top of that, but the stain is oil, oily, I'm sorry, and it just kept showing up. So I just decided to just leave it alone. Okay, now moving on, I am going to glue down my hooks onto my wooden piece. Now for this one, I decided to print Home Sweet Home and this is going to be in my entryway and I just thought it was the best place and the best thing to say. So I am going to be adding this on there and then we'll move on. Okay, so a couple of these letters try to come off and I just wanted to seal them, make sure that they were going to stay in place. So I just mud punched this sign. Here is what it's looking like. This greenery, I got it from Walmart. I just got a few pieces and I am going to glue it down. And I am going to be adding this bow that you probably see me use in other videos. I've used it in different ones. So I just glue it right there in the middle. And that is basically it. Now I'm just going to adjust it. Let's take a look of what this used to look like. And here is the end result. I love how this turned out. Absolutely beautiful. Let me know what you think. For my fourth and last flip, I took this. I want to say it's a fruit bowl. I'm not sure, but it's pretty and I am going to use it as a fruit bowl. So I want to give it a makeover. So I start by grabbing some masking tape and I started putting it in the inside rim of it just so I wouldn't get any paint on that part. Okay, so uh, here's my original idea. I wanted to use these gems to give it a different look on the rim of the top and I started gluing them with hot glue and it was looking amazing. Then I decided to add some at the bottom rim and it was still looking amazing everything was going fine so i take my white paint and my baking soda to create that fox pottery look to it and i was like everything's looking amazing let's do let's just start painting so i start painting and there goes one of the gems so they start coming off and I was like, it's fine, I'll just glue it back. And then a second one falls off. And I was like, why? I don't understand why, why this is happening. So, and then from there, it just went downhill. I just got so frustrated that I just started taking all of them off. And I knew it was my fault. I knew it wasn't going to hold because it's hot glue. I probably needed something stronger. So I gave up on those. And then once I took them all off, I washed my hands because you saw how messy my hands were. I just basically went back in there with some white paint to cover all that up. And I was like, this is going to work out because I say so. So <laughs> then once I painted it all white, I let it dry. And then I got these paints and I will leave the information in the description box. I take my little spongy brush or whatever it's called and I just started stamping it on there randomly, giving it a, a different look. And yeah, um, this was the most satisfying thing out of this whole, <laughs> this whole flip. And anyway, so I just basically start going in with different colors and then I go back with some white when I feel like it's too strong. And yeah, I just went crazy with it. I just have fun basically after all that frustration with this i just have fun with this one and honestly i love how this turns out now this is what it's looking like so far if you know how i can seal this let me know because i really do love how this turns out i just want to be able to seal it so now i decided to remove the masking tape and we are basically done now let's remember what this used to look like and here is the end result. I really like how this bolt turned out, but my favorite for sure is the wheelbarrow. Let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite flip today. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I will see you on my next DIY. Bye!